300 square foot of gardening for $150 a year. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking to you about the Huntington Beach Community Garden with our very special guest, Steve Lassick. Stay tuned. Since 1988, I have had one passion only, that is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Second Stone team will always be cutting edge. Hey, what's going on? Second Stone Team Show, episode number seven. Oh my gosh, 777. Seven, seven. We're here with <laughs> Stipe. How's it going? Stipe, he's our marketing coordinator for the team. He's also the producer of this show. So if you don't like the way it's cut, it's all his fault. It's all Sorry. his fault. But if you want to get to know a little bit more about Stipe and the rest of our team, I encourage you to look at episode number one where we introduce everybody on our team, but he's at the very, very end. So you're gonna have, to, you're gonna have to stick through it. But right now we're actually standing actually at, at the uh, Huntington Beach Community Garden. Uh, Stipe is a volunteer here. We have a Sack and Stone team plot. We actually have two plots here. Double plot, yeah. Double plot, we have a double yeah. plot here. So. Uh, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the Huntington Beach Community Garden, what it's about, and why we were encouraged so much to have a double plot here? Sure. Well, uh, I first found the garden when I was just randomly looking at different things in the geolocation. And when I found out that this garden was right across the street from our office, I pitched the idea to the team, to Scott and Lane and Philip for us to start growing some food, you know, so we can start donating a little bit to the local charities and uh, different food banks and stuff around. Well, that's what's really cool too, yeah. is uh, a, a lot of the, uh, the people that have plots here, they're mm -hmm. encouraged to donate what, yeah. 10%. Exactly, so 10% of the yield, of your yield is supposed to be donated back to the community. And uh, they actually donate thousands of pounds of food a year. And here at this community garden, uh, there's 110 plots and they vary from full plots to half plots. And uh, it's just a, it's a whole organization of volunteers and it's really special. It's all people that are local to the area and, and they love their neighborhoods, they, they love their city. And all they wanna do is produce a little bit of food, have fun, be outside, get a little bit healthier and, and donate back to the community. Yeah, you guys, this is a nonprofit organization. Yeah. It's hundred percent volunteers. Uh, we're really happy to have a double plot here and help yeah. out in any way that we can. Steve attends a lot of the meetings, if not almost all of them. You go to as many as you can. I try I do, yeah. Uh, how often do you guys meet? Uh, once every two months on a Wednesday and actually at Lake Park. And uh, and I also run the social media pages for it. So you, if you guys want to follow the community garden, I take photos, I post videos and, and other people post stuff too on the pages, but. Um, so you're not just doing the Sack and Stone no. Facebook page? Oh <laughs> no. Sack, uh, uh, Facebook, HB Community Garden, Instagram, HB Community Garden. And for more info, you can go to hbcommunitygarden.org. If you want to get more of the details of what we talk about today to how to apply for a plot how to become a member and, and so forth well that's the one thing too that we can talk about briefly i mean there's just a few plots i believe left over and there's a waiting list yeah so you have to get your application in which is a 20 dollars annual membership yes and then once you're approved then your plot i believe i have it here is um 150 dollars for a 15 by 20 foot plot yeah, $75 so that's for, the for year. a half pot for the year. Yeah. Very, very reasonable. Yes. If you if you live in an apartment, if you live in a condo and you want to do a little bit of gardening, gardening is your passion, I encourage you to check out the Huntington Beach Community Gardening. Garden. And it doesn't sound like a lot. What, 15 by 20 feet, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you can grow in a lot of food uh, on that size plot. And if you go around and you can check the pages into uh, our social media pages, you can see the amount of food people can produce on a plot that big. Well, so. it's so affordable or if small. it's not if it's not large enough for you. Just get just do it with the sack yeah. of stone to do a yeah. do, do a double plot. I mean, and this is perfect. This is a perfect for someone that doesn't have any backyard space. You know, people that are living in condos or apartments. This is a perfect opportunity to grow your own food. Everything's organic, right? Yeah, no chemicals allowed here organic gardening only, which it, I like. Yeah, and this opened up in the spring of 2011, so mm -hmm. a little over seven years now. Yeah. And we're really excited because guess what? When we serve snacks at our future open houses, we really want to use some of the Sack and Stone team gardening, like vegetables and yeah. fruits to serve at our snacks. So look forward to coming to our open, uh, uh, open houses and having fresh, fruits and vegetables grown right out of our own garden. So we're really, really excited for this. We're really excited to be a part of the Huntington Beach Community yeah. Garden. Um, can you think of anything else that we might have missed that we can talk about? 
I mean, all I can uh, say is... Kind of where it's located? Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's at the very end of Atlanta. You find Atlanta and Brookers. It's right next to the... We have the riverbed right out here. And uh, it's a pretty convenient location. There's a lot of parking outside, and it's pretty easy to access. Yeah. If you yeah. already have a plot here, please let us know, because we'd love to come uh, you know, check out our neighbors. But if you don't and you want to learn more information, go ahead and give either Sipa or myself a call. We can help you out in any way that we can. Uh, we'd love to see you guys here especially if you have a passion for gardening like our team does and we know scott he's a major green thumb i know he couldn't be on this video he's probably gonna be bummed he couldn't he couldn't be on yeah. this video because he loves <laughs> he gardening i know he, <laughs> he won't watch it right <laughs> but uh, yeah he's another green thumb for our team and we're really excited to have a, a team double plot yeah here. yeah okay well thank you so much for watching tune in for a sack and stone team show episode number seven coming to you next week at the Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text, or email, and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. What do you say? In today's episode. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Tell me when you're ready. Go for it. 300 square with our very special guest, Steve Elastic. Stay tuned. <laughs> Where we introduce everybody on our team, and I'm happy to see At the it. very end, I, I, the last <laughs> but not least. It's the know. very end, but it doesn't mean that you know, you're not loved or appreciated That's on right. our team. But <laughs> right now, we're actually standing in front of the Huntington Beach Community Garden, and uh, it's a 100% volunteer organization. It's a 501c3 charity. Nah, screw it. Start over.